Okay, we're back, and I changed that protocol that we just programmed into the plasma ball to one that's already in the plasma ball, and I'm going to start it, and I'll talk about it for a few minutes, and then I'll move on to the battery. So the one that's already in the, in the plasma ball that comes with the plasma ball um, is a 7... Uh, 14 frequency, um, well, it involves 14 frequencies, let me refer, put, put it that way. Um, it's a seven step uh, frequency long or frequency group long protocol. And the very first one was the one we just programmed Schumann's resonance at 7.83, uh, turning on and off 28,000, 2800 hertz. By the way, that 2800 hertz, rather interesting history. Um, the Bosnia pyramids, in Bosnia obviously, and there's three of them, the Pyramid of the Sun has an energy field about 15, 16 feet wide at the very peak coming up, and that energy field is oscillating at or measures 28,000 hertz, 280000. If you go inside the Bosnia pyramid, Bosnian Pyramid seems to block out all other frequencies except 7.83. It seems to amplify 7.83, which is Schumann's resonance. And if you do a little research on the Bosnian Pyramid, you'll find that people go in there and they come out feeling miraculously better, sometime actually healed from some things that they had wrong with them. <clears throat> so you can look that up on yourself or by yourself, go do some research. So what I did is I set up a protocol um, using 28,000 as the primary frequency, and then I gate it at Schumann's resonance. So you're getting a complex compound uh, frequency pair um, modulating the plasma ball, and that's the first frequency. Then I moved on through the Schumann resonance frequencies. I, I started out at um, the very first one that we just programmed in the previous video protocol uh, um, show and tell to 396 then I moved on up to a 400 frequency a 500 frequency a 6 and a 7 and an 8 I believe there were six of them um, but I I didn't just set all those up as what I did is I alternated those frequencies uh, with uh, Schumann's resonance so let me restate what I'm talking about I ran for in the protocol, the very first frequency group was Schumann's resonance running with 28,000 as a primary. The very next frequency group or memory group was 396, the very bottom frequency of the six out of uh, the Solvegio pair frequencies. And again, the primary was running at 28,000. And then the third group dropped back to Schumann's resonance and um, modulating the 28,000 on and off at 7.83. And then the fourth frequency went to the second uh, Schulman, um, not Schulman, but uh, Solvegio frequencies. And I walked up the line that way. And I've had some remarkable results myself. So um, it's a very interesting protocol. Uh, I would suggest you not only look at it and try to understand it when you get a plasma ball, if you get a plasma ball, um, but you try it and try it on various people. A plasma ball has to be about five or six uh, feet away uh, max, um, probably doesn't have to be. That's a, like the max range. The closer the better, the closer the stronger. Now you'll see the plasma ball, I'm looking at the screen, you'll see the plasma ball switch off every um, 10 seconds. I'm running each frequency for 10 seconds and then it has to switch to the other frequency, the next one in the, in the chain, in the group, in the protocol. And the camera, the camera can't catch that all the time and, uh, and they just get out of sync and it makes it look like when it's changing frequency that there's a long pause, you know, like maybe a, a, a quarter of a second. Um, there's actually probably a much shorter one than that when it changes frequencies. All right, so you've been watching this run through the whole frequency group. Um, each one in the group is uh, 
in the protocol rather each one is uh, just 10 seconds long when I in the in the actual program uh, that's stored in memory um, each group is 180 seconds long so much like you're familiar with when you run um, uh, the spooky spooky 2 okay let's move on to battery let's move on to battery I'm going to turn the lights on for this one watch your eyes oh got bright <laughs> what camera didn't like that and here's the battery that I use um, you can see it's not very big it's a 12 volter it's a um, 12 amp also uh, or 1200 milliamp and I think I paid about 30 bucks for this guy and then you can buy bigger ones that are 20 amps uh, and of course they're physic physic get it out bigger physically and you can buy smaller ones that are like 6 amps this battery ran this plasma ball and the electronics inside for three hours before it shut down I'm not sure it was fully charged then I might have gotten a little bit more out of it but it was close to fully charged um, I just bought three more of these for those who get desperate and can't find a source, um, I have not put them on the uh, order sheet yet, but they'll eventually go on there. They're 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 on order. They're in shipment to me right now, so I'll have a few of these um, to let go of. Very convenient for when you have a powder out outage, and very convenient um, if you're over somebody's house and you just don't want to. You don't have a plug available real quick. If you had this battery here, you could. Um, run your you can run the plasma bulb remotely um, completely without being connected to a wall outlet and to prove that I'll stop the plasma ball I'll leave everything set right where it's at it will restart that product protocol when I start it up again um, and actually say start and here's the battery it happens to have the right kind of connector the other one on here is for charging. Um, this guy here that I'm, I'm wiggling, that's a that's a female, and it's for charging. And they, when I bought this, you get a charger with it too, uh, so you don't have to buy a, a charger for it. I bought this off of, I believe, eBay, but they're on the uh, Amazon has them also. So. You know, you, you can you can search the internet and see you know your choice of places that you like to shop at, and see if you can find something that uh, is similar. Twelve volts, though, it definitely has to be twelve volts, and I recommend you get nothing smaller than six amps. I think the six amps were like um, I think I saw I, I'm not sure, but I think I remember seeing uh, there for like ten bucks. I, I I think that was a mistake. Probably be more like fifteen because it also comes with a charger very cool very cool use these for a lot of things they have 5 volt versions people have for recharging their phones and running their phones forever when uh, they're out camping or something like that all right so here we go we just plug it in it's plugged in completely you know right now we have we're not wired to the wall this is not a trick <laughs> I feel like a magician all of a sudden. So I'll turn it on. Uh oh, I gotta turn this on too. This actually has a switch. So there's a switch on the side, I didn't mention it, on this particular unit right there with an LED showing you that it, it turned on. So this is on, the plasma ball's on, completely independent of any wall socket and everything. And I already have a protocol set up. We just went through it um, a little bit uh, a while ago. If I press the start button, there you go. Plasma ball's flashing. If I turn off the light, so you can see the plasma ball a little bit better. And it's flashing at Schumann's residence for 10 seconds. Now it's not flashing. It's flashing at uh, Sylvesio frequency of 396. And at the next little tiny pause you might catch, it moves up to the Sylvesio frequency of 410 or something like that. I, I, I don't have them out of memory. Uh, so there you go. This uh, These two videos, one showed you how to walk through a protocol, and the second part of this video was a little bit more on the protocols, 
and then there was the uh, battery. So I'll get these up on the internet and uh, you'll be able to watch them. All right, have a nice day, everybody, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.